Hi, in this session we are going to talk about motivations to cut. Now you have uh, learned about types of uh, shots, types of uh, uh, you know magnifications, types of cuts. But you, the the fundamental question still remains as to, okay, fine. I know that I should never cut from uh, a close to a close. You know that causes a jerk. So when I'm cutting from, you know, a wide, uh, from a close to a wide, that will cause less of a jerk. But having said that, still, when would I know what is the right time to cut? So in these situations, you basically have to answer what is your motivation to cut. So just imagine a situation where you know a person is talking about himself and he's referring to the fact that you know his eyes have become red. So he basically refers to his eyes. So the moment he has referred to his eye, you cut to a close close of the eye. So in the dialogue, when that person is referring to the eye, that becomes a reference for him to cut to a close. Alternatively, he might you know actually start pointing out towards his eye. So another motivation to cut would be when he has performed an action. So that action of him lifting his finger towards his eye begins in the uh, in the in a wide shot, and then it goes to a close. There he's showing the close up of the eye. So that becomes your other motivation to cut. Similarly, there could be uh, you know in previous lessons we've talked about uh, referential shots or inserts. So if he's referring to a certain image or you know referring to a certain episode. So that becomes your motivation to cut to a different shot. So in this way, uh, you know, we basically define, uh, you know, different motivations to cut from one shot to another, even though the grammar as such might be right. You are actually cutting from a wide to a close, but yet you need certain motivations to justify that cut so that it doesn't, the cut doesn't look abrupt. It might look correct grammatically, but it, there should be a motivation. So storytelling is almost like as if you are playing with the senses of the viewer. So he has to feel justified that you have cut from a wide to a close. He should not suddenly feel that, okay, fine, I was watching a shot in a wide and suddenly I've gone to a close. Sometimes the sound can be a motivation. So you have heard a blast, you know, I know you are sitting in a room and the conversation is happening, suddenly there is a blast. So the sound of the blast becomes a motivation as to what has happened outside. So you suddenly cut from, you know, cut on the sound. So that, so these are different motivations to cut a shot.